Welcome to Contact Monkey Academy. Today's topic is embedding an attachment in your template. So we recommend embedding any attachments that you might have directly in your template as opposed to attaching it to your email. The reason for this is when you attach it to your template, you're going to be able to upload a larger file size um, and you're also going to be able to track those analytics. So just the same as Contact Monkey tracks all your link clicks, it's going to track your attachments as well. So if you link out to a photo or to a file, we're going to be able to capture how people have engaged with that piece of content. So there's two ways that you can embed a link. The first being um, through a button and the second with embedding a hyperlink. So I'll show you the button method first. So we have a new row and we're just gonna jump into the content tab here and pull in a button. So now we can rename this button to whatever we want. I'm just going to call it click here, keep it nice and simple. And then hopping over into the content properties, you're going to be able to click link file. And this is going to bring you to your file manager where you can choose the file that you want. So if you've already uploaded the file into your file manager, you can just simply select it by clicking insert, or you can always go into upload, and this will bring you to your computer. So I'm going to pull in a new CSV file. And next is just to click insert. OK, so now that I've inserted the CSV file, it's going to show me in the URL line that we've generated this link. Um, now, if someone is in your template and they click on this button, they're going to be led to this link where they'll be able to view the file you've uploaded. Okay, so now we've done the button method and I'm going to show you how to hyperlink something directly in your text. So going into rows, I'll pull in a new row. We're gonna drag and drop it and then pull in a text box. So now we can write something similar. Let's just say click here again for simplicity's sake. And then we're just going to highlight the text. So you can do this directly in a paragraph if you wanted to make it really simple for someone to click out while reading. Um, and then in your font editor, you're going to see a button called insert slash edit link. So we'll click into that and you'll notice that we have a few options here in this form. So for link type, um, it's automatically set to URL, which is going to allow you to link out to a web page. Um, but for today, we're going to select our file manager. So selecting the file manager is again, just going to bring us into that same page that we were in before, where we're able to select a file. So I'm going to select my CSV file again. And again, we see our URL that's been generated. We can see that the text that it's going to display is click here. We can see it's going to be underlined to make it really obvious that it is a link. Um, and then we can see that the target is opening up in a new window. So we can click OK. And then all of a sudden, our words are clickable. So this is going to lead the recipient to the link that you've added. So uh, again, this is recommended for any link that you need to add, any attachment. Do so directly within your template, and you'll be able to gather those analytics. And you'll also be able to attach larger file sizes. So I hope today's session was helpful. And thanks again for joining Contact Monkey Academy.